In this video, we'll be going over remove duplicates from sorted array. So given a sorted array nums, remove the duplicates in place such that a new element appear only once and return the new life. Do not allocate extra space for another array. You must do this by modifying the input array in place and over one extra memory. So in the first example, we're given 1, 1, 2. So when we remove the duplicates 1, we get 1 and 2. And then our, I mean, the length of the output list will be equal to 2. So we output 2. Let's first go over the dot process. And we can implement a two pointer approach. One pointer i will be used to populate unique numbers. And then one pointer j will scan forward to find unique numbers. We should note that we should note that the input array is sorted in ascending order. This means all of the duplicate numbers are grouped together. After we have accounted for the elements at nums j, we will want to skip all of the future elements that is equal to nums j. After we have processed all of the numbers with pointer j, the value of i will determine the size of the output array without duplicates. Let's go over a pseudocode. So we'll create a variable i to keep track of our current left, uh, left pointer or to keep track of our to keep track of the current location we are populating. Then we'll iterate through the input list, indices of the input list, denote it as j, then we'll populate nums j at nums i. This is a this is a unique number, so we populate nums i, and then we increment i. Now we will need to skip all of the duplicate elements. So while j is not at the last index, and the next number, so j plus one is equal to the current number, nums j, we want to skip that number. So we increment j. After we process all of the numbers of j, we can return i the length of the new array without duplicates. Let's go over the time and, time and space complexity. So time complexity is of n, where n is the length of the input array. So if O n visit each index once, and space complexity is of one because we do not create a new data structure to hold our elements. We just modify, modify the array in place. Now we can go over the code. Then we iterate through the indices of the input array. Place the unique elements at i. And we want to skip all duplicate elements. Then return i, the length of the new array. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below.